The Scorn Empire, Part 4, The Army of the Western Reaches. The Army of the Western Reaches is the Scorn Empire's invading arm. All houses are required to contribute forces to this army, which is led directly to the Supreme Arch Domina, which are led directly by the Supreme Arch Domina. It is the largest and most effective armed force that has ever been raised by the Scorn, and it benefited greatly from Ventor's organizational and command expertise. In the West, the army has established itself in the Bloodstone Marches with a number of garrisons and forts. Its supply chain across the Bloodstone Desert, back to the heart of the Empire, grows more secure each day, though any passage across the Wastelands is a dangerous undertaking. Within the hierarchy of the Empire, the Western Reaches is equivalent to a Seventh Tor. Until Makeda, seizes, until Makeda seized power from Ventor, she was Archdomina in control of the vast region of this vast region and its massive army. This tour is too far too is is far larger than any other, technically larger than the entire Eastern Empire itself. Even though most of its is unsettled ter territory serves as geographical barrier between the abysmal fortresses of the east and the newly secured territory of the Bloodstone Marches in the west. It remains to be seen if Supreme Arch Domina Makeda will appoint an Arch Dom Dominar to govern this region. The need to promote a vassal beneath her is less, as pre is less pressing as she leads from the front rather than leading from behind in the, ab in the abyssal fortress, as Ventor the Betrayer did. After defeating Ventor's forces at the fortress, Makeda immediately led her army back west to resume their conquests. Lord Tormentor Morgul went east to Halak to seize control of the Paingiver caste and transform it into a peerless tool of the new unified state. The Conqueror in integrated most of the contributing forces into mixed cohorts, requiring to required to wear the colors of House Balash in an effort to break how old house loyalties. The Supreme Arch Domina it retains this practice but applies it more discriminately. Tyrants and dom dominars who have earned Makeda's favor are permitted to retain their house colors on the armor and, stand and the standards of their troops, provided they include at least a token item in the vermilion of House Belash. Some of her subordinate dom dominars have reverted to their house colors without her permission in a passive display of resistance to Makeda's assumption of ultimate power. Makeda nonetheless retains the power to reform and reshape cohorts as she sees as she wishes, an effective means of disrupting pockets of discontent. Abyssal for the Abyssal Fortress has long been an important base and training ground for the Army of the Western Reaches, particularly in the period before it swept west. Its elite black armored garrison was responsible for Ventor's safety. Leading up to her march to the Abyssal Fortress, Makeda used her authority to position a large number of her highest ranking and most trusted subordinates within Ventor's inner guard. She intended for those, these key figures to aid in, in the overthrow, but her efforts did not escape the, his detection. Even as the fortress came under direct siege, Ventor summoned these officers to attend him, allowing them, them, allowing them their internal ar their in traditional arms, and struck down en masse with his own blade. This bloodbath greatly impacted Makeda's command structure, as many of, their mo of his most experienced dominars, lord tyrants, and tyrants were killed in the massacre. Makeda has, has prom promoted worthy successors in their stead, but the command structure will take some time to recover. The Army of the Western Reaches is divided into four sabbats. The majority of Makeda's most devout, devout and esteemed soldiers belong to the southern Bloodstone Sabbath, led by Dominar Krat Kratos, who is Makeda's blood relative and also of House Balash. The ten cohorts under his command occupy the largest and best fortified of the new scorn fortresses and are the most actively engaged in warfare abroad these forces are positioned not far from the border shared with signar near the march fells and the border shared with the protectorate to the south the second largest division the northern bloodstone sabbath is led by dominar zarkorn promoted to the position after ventor slayed his predecessor this sabbath 
and spreads across the region includes the Scarf Scalforth Lake, the Castle of the Keys, and a number of northern and western hill fortresses. Though the Dominar is largely in charge, there is no denying the perversive influence of Lord Tyrant Herexus of the House Kurshan, who has been appointed to govern the western settlements while Makeda marches on the abyssal marched on the abyssal fortress. The master Morgulurge has demonstrated has demonstrable power over the battlefield as well as peerless influence over the scorned occultists of the Sabbath. Supreme Abdmus Zal also fights in the Sabbath, and thus and through his subordinate extollers serve throughout the army. They are con concentrated, and though his subordinates extollers serve throughout the entirety of the army, they are most concentrated here. The Bloodstone Desert Sabbath is less involved in active conquest. Instead, it garrisons the dozens of fortresses between the Bloodstone Marshes and the Eastern Empire. This includes two entire cohorts kept at the Abyssal Fortress itself, where Makeda has left a number of trusted officers to ensure communication between East and West. Darmanar Jelkraxus, who has earned esteem fighting against Signar in the West, was promoted to supervise these cohorts and facilitate secured communications between the far-flung members of the Paingiver caste. The forces of the Sabbath included fresh soldiers being trained to join the army of the Western Reaches as required by, ongo by ongoing casualties. The formidable cohorts of House Telar recently joined the army of the Western Reaches, and these forces under Dom Dominar Rashef make up the newest and final Sabbath. For now, Makeda has afforded, this, the, the, has afforded the Dominar the singular courtesy of retaining the integrity of his house army. Many lesser tyrants resent this, but they, will, but they fail to understand the importance of House Telar and, the, and its ready access to expertly bred and, and trained war beast stock. <laughs>